So uh, David asked me to speak to represent um, Kurt's clients. So here I am, Lisa Caputo, Kurt Heck Groupie. I met Kurt in the most interesting of times and circumstances. It was during the financial crisis when I was at Citigroup. Have crisis? Call Kurt. We had a new sheriff in town at the helm of the company and storm clouds were forming. We had a few problems. We had to push the messaging out in a different way and that's where I met the incredible and brilliant David Kenny who introduced me to Kurt and the rest is history. I took immediately to Kurt. Why? Because he just got me. He rapidly gained my trust because of his intellect, his ideas, his ability to think big and out of the box, his willingness to experiment, his practicality, and his drive to get things done. And he did it all with an S-E-G, sorry Peggy, shit-eating grin, at all times. Why? Because he loved what he did. He loved his clients. In fact, it's through Kurt that I met some of you in this room. It was Kurt who introduced me to Uber when it was in his in infancy, and now I'm an addict. It's only fitting, isn't it? Kurt became my digital Sherpa. He became my go-to, but above all, he became my dear friend. Kurt was at my side when we navigated the digital landscape at City and launched a, its social media presence and did new and innovative partnerships with Apple and others. When I went to Travelers in my first few weeks on the job and David and Kurt had taken over the weather company, I called Kurt and said, I just read that you did this very cool partnership with Facebook, thank you, Carolyn. Don't go anywhere else with this but to me first. And he laughed because he loved that and said, of course not, I never would do that, I love it. At Travelers, we ch we've charted new territory for the company. I took Kurt up to Hartford, Connecticut, the insurance bastion of the world, so he could meet people, get the lay of the land, and help me sell a new partnership with the weather company that was innovative and different. Now, Kurt quickly assessed the situation, a very geeky insurance situation, and found the lone cyclist in the company, asked him to go on a bike ride, and readily endeared himself to the entire claim operation because the avid cyclist ran the claim operation. I think Kurt even became a traveler's customer. Whenever Kurt was coming to town, we'd get together for coffee or a meal. Our conversation was always around what could we do more of? What could we do better? How could we zig when the others were zagging? And then we would move straight to our families and our kids. You see, Kurt's family and my family became friends. We share a love of Naples, Florida. And for the past two years, we've gotten together with our kids for lunch, mini golf, and the best ice cream in Naples, Florida. Right, Bertie? The great part of this has been that my son and my daughter have developed a relationship with Kurt and Dorothy's girls, and my husband and Kurt bonded over mini golf and sports. This is an annual ritual that will continue, Dorothy, I promise. Kurt never told me about his battle. I'm mad about it, but I'm not. It was business as usual and true to Kurt's style. My last communication with him was on July 12th. I was asking him about two different hotels in Naples, Florida. Which one was better and where should we stay this year during break? His response, the ever practical Kurt was, oh, you gotta stay where we are. Where we are is the better hotel with the better rate. Biggest issue is Wi-Fi coverage is really poor in the rooms, which sucks for me, but hey, it's vacation, and we'll be out on the, on the links generally yucking it up, so no biggie. And oh yeah, you better book in a year in advance. I could hear him chuckling on the other end of the email since it was already July and I was looking to book for Christmas. So if I can, just in Kurt's memory, I want Dorothy, Peggy, and Kaki to know what an incredible person he was a visionary, a pro, a game changer, a loyal friend, a treasure. He inspired me professionally and personally to do better and always live up to his high standard. His memory lives on in each of you.